If you've been wondering how to use tags effectively in ActiveCampaign, this video is for you. Hey, I'm Karanda Adair. I'm a certified automation service provider and the CEO of Carvel Digital. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about all things tagging. I'm going to show you how to use tags in an organized way to effectively reach your marketing goals instead of ending up with just a cloud of words. Let's get into it. Just before this video was scheduled to be published, ActiveCampaign made a huge update to the way tags are treated in the Tag Manager. So I wanted to put this right up front because it's extremely important. And if you delete tags without understanding this, you could wreak havoc with your account. So let's talk about it. If you go to delete a tag, so say I select this tag and I click delete, it asks, are you sure you wanna delete this tag? It cannot be undone, that's really important. This is the new thing. Deleting this tag will also remove the tag from any automations and segments that reference this tag. Previously, if you deleted a tag and you were using that tag in an automation, it would still be in your automation. So, and then this section has also not changed. Um, if you do remove the tag, you do have the option to move the tag to a different contact, but it's really, really important to understand this. So what does that mean? That means that if you have a segment, say this uh, message newsletter segment, and you were to delete that tag, then this segment would no longer work. If you deleted the tag that's referenced here, it would be gone from this uh, segment and the segment would no longer work. If you have an automation, so this is a map of an automation and you have a step here that says add a tag. If you were to, le to delete this tag, in this case, status receive live emails, then this step in the automation would then be null. So if you don't understand where all of your tags are being used in automations and how it's going to affect those and affect your segments, just don't delete tags. <laughs> Unless you really, really know what you're doing, your best bet is just to not delete tags. Um, and so if you have people who are working with you, if you have VAs, um, anyone who's cleaning up your account, you want to make sure that they understand this. If possible, you want to limit their permissions, which you can do using, um, user groups, but yeah, this is really, really important to understand. So now that we've covered that, let's get into the rest of the video. There are four things I wanna cover with you today. The first is when should you use a tag versus a custom field? I wanna talk about planning your tagging system. Yes, you actually need a tagging system. How to keep your tags up to date and ideas for how tagging can be useful for you in your marketing. So should you use a tag or should you use a custom field? Well, tags are a great way to store information about actions that your contacts take inside of your system. Tags are great for things like triggering automations, showing or hiding content inside of your email, emails, or quickly segmenting your list. Custom fields are better for storing information that's unique to that individual contact. The great news is you don't even have to remember what I just said. If you're in the custom field screen in ActiveCampaign and you go to add a field, there's a little link here where you can take a quiz and answer a few questions and ActiveCampaign will actually suggest whether it should be a tag or a custom field. I think that's a pretty neat feature. So now that you've decided to use a tag, the next thing is you want to actually plan your tagging system. This is probably the number one area where we do a lot of cleanup when we audit and set up our clients' accounts to be marketing ready, is they will have just been creating tags willy-nilly um, as they're doing their marketing, as they're creating emails, as they're creating segments, and then it becomes kind of a mess. So the way to avoid that is to actually plan your tagging, have a tagging system, and stick to that system no matter what. One of the ways that we do this is we have a tagging dictionary and it consists of a prefix which acts as the tag category and then a description which tells what that tag is actually for. And there's a couple of different um, approaches to naming of your tags. Some people like to keep their tagging names super, super short to make them easier to read. I actually prefer to err on the side of clarity because you never know when someone's gonna come into your team and they're not gonna know all those special acronyms that refer to your offers, your products, um, your events, and things like that. So there's no limit to how long a tag name can be and obviously you don't wanna be ridiculous about it, but I would err on the side of spelling out acronyms and making it so that anybody who comes into your system will know what that tag is about. If you do choose to keep them short, there's always the tag description field. So we 
denote tag descriptions when we're planning. And then there's also a tag description field inside of Active Campaign. So if you're going to use short names, make sure you use that description field to keep things clear for everybody involved. Once you've created your system and you're starting to actually put tags into Active Campaign, one nice thing about having these categories is that you can then search for tags by category. For instance, we use a message prefix to denote tags that are denoting an audience segment. So you could come in and you could search for the word message and it will show you all of your message tags that refer to your segments. This is really nice for statuses, for if you have interest tags, if you have customer tags, it's really just nice to be able to go and look at that category of tag and you can see how many contacts have each tag and if those tags are attached to any automations. So what kinds of things can you use tags for? Well, I mentioned earlier that it's a great way to track actions that people are taking within your system. So hopefully you've connected your active campaign account to your website so that you're able to track the pages that your subscribers are visiting on your website. And the other thing you can track is links that subscribers are clicking in your emails. So if you're in your email screen and you have a link, there is a feature called link actions so that when they click that link, you can now take an action based on that. And one of those is you can add or remove a tag. So say you have uh, a launch going, you want people to register for your event. If they're clicking over, but they're not registering yet, then you can register the people who click through and you can apply an interest tag so that you can circle back with those people to try to get them over the line to register for your event. And of course you can apply the same principle to a sales page or a booking page if you have sales calls. The last key to really making tags useful in your business is to regularly clean out your tags. You'll create tags that will become irrelevant over time and you wanna make a practice of maybe quarterly going in and just reviewing the tags that are in your system and deciding whether you actually need those or not. And the great thing is when you look on the tag screen, you can see exactly how many contacts have that tag. So if you have a tag that's been around a while but there's zero contacts, you can probably safely delete it. One of the things we do for our clients is help them with planning their tags, cleaning up rogue tags, and keeping an up-to-date database of the tags that are in their system and what they're used for. I hope this has demystified the subject of tagging for you and that you're committed to going in and cleaning up your tags if they've become a bit of a mess. It takes a little bit of work, but it's totally worth it. If you're interested in learning more about this and other things related to marketing, be sure to click the link below and get on our email list so you can get our newsletter, No Lead Left Behind. And if you'd like a copy of our tagging dictionary, get on our list, go ahead and reply to any of our emails with the subject line, tag me, and we'll send that right over. If you wanna learn more about tags and how you can use them for segmenting, check out my segmenting video right here. If you liked this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the bell notification so you never miss a video.